Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and today I'm showing you a video on how I got my hair to be silver without using any dye at all. In the beginning it comes out a silvery purple and then the purple tones fade out really quickly to reveal a beautiful silver later. This is one of my all time favorite colors I've done and it was so easy so I wanted to show you guys how I did it. So I'm starting with freshly bleached hair and this is several days after I bleached it so I could give it some time to rest before doing another process on it. I have coconut oil in my hair from the night before to help moisturize because coconut oil doesn't interfere with the process so I always try to have as much moisture in my hair as possible. Now I'm parting my hair into four sections because it's a lot easier to get each section done when the rest of your hair is tied back. Plus, I feel like this is like a mind trick because every time you finish a section, you get hit with that dopamine and you get excited to do the rest. But if you didn't divide it and you did your whole head at once, it would seem like a much larger task. Now I'm going to mix up my toner concoction, starting with the Blonde Brilliance Toner in Lilac, and I'm squeezing the whole tube out into my mixing bowl. I used the lowest volume developer they have because all I wanted to do was activate the toner, not deposit color or light in my hair. And because I'm processing my hair, even though it's just toner, I'm using the Ion Absolute Perfection Booster, which is an inexpensive Olaplex dupe, to protect my hair throughout the process. Now I'm putting on gloves because we're going to be working with developer right now, so you do need to protect your hands unlike if it were a vegetable based dye, unfortunately. I'm sectioning off thin pieces at a time to work on and making sure my hair is completely wet. I use the brush at the roots to make sure I get all up in there and then use my hands to get the rest of the hair fully saturated. I do this because it's faster and easier, and since you can feel it with your hands, you really know exactly which areas need more of the goo. So just in the time it took to do one section, it already started turning purple. So now I'm taking the other bottom section out and doing the same thing on this side, and I realized that my hair is thicker in the back and the center of the back specifically, so I try to start there so that the areas that are naturally thinner or more delicate will process for less time since they don't need it as much. All right, next section, we're getting there. This is the point where your arms are heavy, knees weak, mom spaghetti, but you're so close to being done, there's really no turning back now. And by the way, if you're looking for the toner I used, you might notice the same one in the color platinum, which shows a white gray on the bottle that might look like the color that you want, but don't be tricked. I've tried that one several times on me and my sister, and it doesn't come out looking how you'd expect. Now on to the last quarter of my hair, and I'm out of toner. So I remade the same mix, but anyways, back to what I was saying. So the toner in platinum always comes out uneven, and it's more of a muddy gray than a silver gray, and it leaves a brassy-ish undertone instead of the cool tone you want, which is what the lavender quickly fades to. So that's why I think that it's a lot better for what you want. So that's why I recommend the lavender instead. Now after that's all done, I put the hair together and put the excess goo on top to keep everything moist. And now that it's moist, the moisture will be as moist as possible and remain moist until I rinse it out. And then it will be another form of moist. <laughs> Comment down below if you hate the word moist. So 20 minutes later, I rinse that all out and use the second step of the Ion Perfection Duo and styled as usual. Keep in mind that your hair will turn out lighter when it's dry versus when it's wet. This is me a couple days after with dry hair and you can already see that the lilac is fading beautifully into a cool toned silver and I think it looks really beautiful this color too. So pretty much this is my method for getting a beautiful, long-lasting, silvery gray head of hair without using dye, which can fade faster and won't give you this seam effect. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and check out my other socials down below. I wish you all a happy, healthy life and we'll see you in the next video. Mwah.